Let me find another long sentence. It saves a lot of time to have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter rather than communicating through messages or emails. It almost seems like there should be a comma after the word matter because that is a very long sentence and I had to take a breath right there after matter. But um, so here, breaking it down into smaller phrases, it saves a lot of time to have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter rather than communicating through messages or emails. Okay, so we had a lot of little phrases there put together. Um, that's how I would break it up. So, but I wouldn't read it like that. I wouldn't go, it saves a lot of time to have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter rather than communicating through messages or emails. I wouldn't say it like that. In my mind, I'm splitting it up into those clusters of words, but I'm going to emphasize whatever word in those phrases is the most important one. All right, so in the first one, it saves a lot of time. I would say it just like that. It saves a lot of time. So saves is important. Time is important. I'm probably not going to say it saves a lot of time. I'm going to kind of pick one. It saves a lot of time. Probably time. Um, to have everyone gathered in a room. What would I emphasize there? It saves a lot of time to have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter. So to have everyone gathered in a room is kind of leading up to the next part. To have everyone gathered in a room, kind of emphasize a room, but I dropped my voice a little bit there. To have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter. So I kind of emphasized discuss, to discuss a certain matter, rather than communicating through messages or emails. Um, and I emphasized messages, or emails. So altogether it would be, it saves a lot of time to have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter rather than communicating through messages or emails. We want to kind of compare being in a room to discuss versus just messages or emails. So, so what we don't want to do is just randomly rhythmically emphasize words like it saves a lot of time to it saves a lot of time to have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter rather than communicating through messages or emails. That sounds like a song, and I'm exaggerating, but um, trying to just point out the fact that in English, there's not going to be much of a regular lilting pattern. Most of the words are more monotone except for the important ones. Um, and the important ones, we will lengthen them, maybe make them louder, or our voice might go up or down. It saves a lot of time to have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter rather than communicating through messages or emails. And if you'll notice, within each little phrase, each little section of that sentence, my voice kind of rises and falls and makes its own little arc in that particular phrase. It saves a lot of time to have everyone gathered in a room to discuss a certain matter rather than communicating through messages or emails. All right, well, I hope this helps you understand a little bit about phrasing in American English. And if you like it, please subscribe. Thank you.